Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to discuss why and if you should wear hand wraps before you put on your boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. In today's video, I want to discuss a common question that I get, and it's whether or not you should wear your boxing gloves without hand wraps. Now, I know this goes without saying for a lot of us who are used to wrapping our hands before we put on our boxing gloves, but it's definitely a legitimate question, uh, mainly because there's a lot of gloves now that are very comfortable, very form-fitting, um, have really nice liners. When you put your bare hand in there, they feel super comfortable, almost like they're meant to be used without hand wraps. And in some cases, there's companies like Onyx who make the X-Factor gloves, which are actually designed to be worn without hand wraps. Um, but in most cases, that's really the exception. That's not the rule. And in my opinion, you should always wrap your hands before you put in your gloves. And the analogy I like to use is a, a pair of running shoes. When you go running and you, you're doing your road work, you always put on a pair of socks before you put on your shoes. You never just put your bare feet into your running shoes. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, it's for support and it's to offer a barrier between your, your bare foot and your shoes to prevent friction. So you don't get blisters on your feet, you don't get blisters on the back of your heel, and it just makes it a much more comfortable and, and supportive uh, experience when you're going for your run and doing your road work. And it's very similar to boxing gloves with obviously a, a lot more added protection when it comes to the, the support of your hands. So just to show you guys, I already wrapped my hands here, standard hand wrap. With this hand wrap on, you can see that the only thing that's exposed is going to be my thumb and my fingers. And that's going to be really locked in into the glove once I put my hand in there. But the main component of this is going to be the knuckles, the back of the hand, the smaller bones and the bones in this wrist joint right here and down, down a little bit down past into the forearm. So with the hand wraps, when you're doing that crisscrossing motion, that's something that you cannot get with a boxing glove. Once you put your hand in there, there's nothing inside this glove other than the foam cushioning that is really locking the small metacarpal bones in your hand like a pair of hand wraps do. When you go in between the fingers, and you're going, going crisscross on the back of the hand, that's really locking in and kind of providing that cast-like feel. Because when you're landing your punches, you're putting a lot of pressure and a lot of kinetic energy that's transferring into your hand. So you really need the support of your hand wrap. It could be just the standard 180 inch Mexican wrap. It could be, you know, um, uh, taping gauze. It could be a pair of fortress wraps. It could be whatever it could be that you're using to wrap your hands but you're essentially locking the, in these bones. A good wrap will lock your bones in, so all of that vibration and that force that's being transferred into your hand is being supported by this wrap. And the same thing down here to the back of the hand and into the wrist area. This wrap is really locking your hand in. Now, just like peanut butter and jelly, the wrap and the glove works together as a team. So once you put your glove over your hand, uh, and if you're using Velcro or lace-up, preferably lace-up, that usually gives a much more secure fit. That's going to go over that and it's going to add another, add another layer of support to your wrist and your, and your forearm. But the main, the bread and butter of your protection is going to come from this wrap. So if you were to wear your gloves without these wraps on, you're, you're really risking a hand injury happening because you're not locking in all of these small bones in between the fingers on the back of the hand right here and down into the wrist that you would when you put on a hand wrap. Another thing is, this is very similar to the running shoe analogy I was using earlier, without these wraps on, all of your bare skin is exposed inside of this glove. Now, depending on the kind of liner that's used, it could be like a soft canvas, the amount of room in there, I have found that I've, I've gotten blisters actually on my knuckles and on my, my fingertips or right around here because without wearing hand wraps, I've done that before. Because when you're punching and you're, you're you know, whether you're doing bad work, mitt work, you're sparring with the gloves, your hand will tend to 
kind of move and jolt around inside of the glove. Regardless of how snug it is, you'll get a little bit more motion inside of there that the hand wraps kind of fill that void. And it's even worse with gloves that are looser fitting that have more room between your knuckle. And the big area is gonna be kind of this knuckle area right here because when you, when you create a fist, you can see there's a little bit of a slope, right, with your knuckles. Obviously your, your largest knuckle is typically gonna be your middle finger. And it, you kind of have that slope right there, which I'm trying to show you guys. And there's some, some gloves that you put on that the foam is flat. And because of that, you kind of have a void. Let me show you guys. You kind of have a little bit of a void right here. And when you start punching without wraps on that, that void isn't filled in, you start to kind of get that friction, that rubbing between your knuckle, your fingers, and the inside liner. So. Aside from risking a hand injury within your bones and the ligaments in your hand, now you're risking getting your knuckles and the skin all chafed up and maybe even blistered up. And that really, I don't know about you guys, but I've had blisters on my hands before and they, they hurt like hell because once you start punching again and, and, and you have to let them heal, and if you're like me, I can't stay away from training and you're like, screw it, I'll just kind of work through it. All those blisters will just get, get worse and worse and worse unless you allow it to heal. I mean, now you could put band-aids or you could put like a, a gauze or something over that to kind of protect it. But that constant friction is going to, and it's going to start bleeding and it's just going to hurt like hell and possibly get infected. So you get that if you don't wear hand wraps. So that little void right there is what's really going to, to cause a lot of damage on your hands. And of course, down below, again, the bones and everything down here really needs to be protected. So... In my opinion, always wear hand wraps. I know there's a lot of gloves out there that, you know, feel really comfortable. You kind of get the impression that you can get away without wearing them. And, and just in my opinion, it's really not worth it. You know, take that extra couple minutes to wrap your hands, per, uh, you know, properly. Uh, that way they're protected and you can continue to, continue to train without any issues uh, and, and really protect your hands. These, these are your biggest investment when it comes to boxing. So uh, that's my opinion on that. Appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.